Hey, this is Ray uh, with Ray's Engines. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, share this video and give me a thumbs up. Um, what we're looking at here is a 350 block. Uh, I'm going to stroke it out and make a 383 out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to clearance it for a 375 crankshaft. Uh, and then, of course, your rods, 5.7 or 6.0, whichever rod you want to use. Uh, this is a 350 block. It's the newer style one piece. It's set up for a hydraulic roller. So it does have a, a, the bolts here for you know, put a spider, um, the one that holds the lifters on it. I can't even think of the name right now. But uh, the block has been bored 30 over. It's been honed for molly rings. Uh, it's got brass freeze plugs, uh, new cam bearings. So it's ready to go. All you have to do is clearance it. Uh, you might ask, well, should I clearance it before I take the machine shop? I would say no, because you don't want to spend that time uh, clearancing it and then you take it to the machine shop and he vats it, does the amount of flux and finds out that the block is no good. Uh, you wasted all that time. So it's better that you go get it machined, get it ready to go. Uh, you can install your own cam bearings. I'll do a video for that. Uh, you can install your own cam bearings, your own freeze plugs. Uh, but the machine work, if you don't have the machine equipment, which I don't, so I take it and he gets it done for me. I bring back over here and then I'm, I clearance it for the 375 crankshaft. Um, so if you want to stay tuned, I'll assemble it. It'll be an Eagle crank, Eagle rods. It'll have the Speed Pro pistons. I'm going to put the flat top pistons on here, Molly rings and King bearings. Uh, this will be an easy 500 horsepower engine. Uh, so I'm going to turn it over so you can see the clearances on it, what I did already. Uh, as you can see, freeze plugs, it's four bolt main. So it's a pretty strong block. Uh, you can do this at home. It's fairly easy. All you're going to do is use a die grinder. So if you got your die grinder there, you can use that and that's what you're basically using. And as you can see, let me turn it to where I can have it here. As you can see, this one's not clearanced yet. You see it's not clearanced yet. This one is, so as you can see, it's basically the, the size of the grinder. Reason why is because the, the rod is coming here and you're clearancing it for the boat. Because the boat is what's going to hit here. So it hit here. And as you can see, I already clearanced it. So all you need to do is do a die grinder. And just run it through here. Don't go too far. Because if you do, this is the water jacket. You will hit this. And once you hit that, the block is no good. Uh, you'll get water in it. So as you can see, this one's not clearanced. And this one is. So all I did was get the die grinder and grind it. Just enough for it to clear. And what you basically need, you need 50 thousandths. So you got a filler gauge, 25, 25, 50 thousandths. So as you can see, there's not 50 thousandths here. So you can measure that to that. And then you can see how much difference it is in here. It's more than 50 thousandths, but I don't wanna do this over and over. So that way, once I assemble the crank in here, the rods, I don't have to be coming back and forth because it's hitting here. Trust me, I've done it once where I install it and it hits this part. And then I have to remove the rod, grind it, and keep going until I get the clearance. Now I know from practice how much I need. So it's fairly easy. All you do is run the grinder straight down until you get your clearance. And you do that for each one. And you can see all of these are done. So I wanted to show you the difference from these compared to this part. Some blocks will need this area right here for your crankshaft. As you can see, it's a little bit edge coming out. So if you get your die grinder and you just grind a little bit from here, just flush it out, not too much. And just a, just a little bit, I mean, not even that much, maybe one of these and get in here and grind it that much. And it'll clear out your crankshaft because this one i know from the one piece this will hit from experience so i'll grind this a little bit get rid of that and then put it back together um, so again all you have to do is wash it so that's the easiest way to do yours is just a simple grinder itself and it does it i mean it's simple just don't grind too much, because if you do, then you will get into the water jacket. Uh, and once you get in the water jacket, I've heard the block is trash, but then again, 
I found out a new technique that you can repair the cast iron block. Uh, I'll make a video for that one also. There's a, there's this product that you can purchase and they use it for marine engines and it does repair a hole on your block and you can run your block again. It's extremely strong. It's, I think it was 2,000 or 4,000 PSI strength. Uh, again, we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, this is gonna be a Stroker 383. Uh, just a short block and then I'll probably sell this one out. But I'll just keep you updated on how to put this one together, a 383 Stroker clearance. That way you can do it yourself. And I'm sure you see an LS turbocharged behind me. Uh, and then to the side will be a 572 block, which I'll build that 572 as well. So again, I just want to do a quick, quick brief of how to clearance your block yourself instead of having a machine shop do it. I believe they charge anywhere 150 to 200 dollars. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't take very much. Um, hope you like this video and hope this does help you so you can build your own 350, stroke it out yourself. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Again, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share this with others. Thanks for watching.